right, just down at Snowdens Beach uh, near um, Port Adelaide. Got the Hobie up with the tramps on it for the first time. Gonna take two passengers out with me. Um, Andy's there just pumping up the wheels. Got, uh, I was gonna go out for a sail with Derek back there, but, uh, but he can't come out unfortunately. But we do have quite a few boats that have decided to come down and join me today. So hopefully it'll be a good sail. Yeah, everyone got out before us because we're a bit disorganized. Terry's really excited to come out sailing for the day. So I hope the wind picks up and uh, we can have a bit of excitement. Forecast is for the wind to be relatively calm and then pick up to around eight knots, which will be nice on this flat water. Uh, we're gonna have wind blowing one direction and uh, current going the other. She's filming with me, I'm filming her. Look at all these Hobies. We've got three, four, five of us out here. How good's that? And fuck all wind. Hopefully, get a bit of wind picking up. The tramps are all right, eh? Nice and comfy. Yep. You've got two sets of those flipper things now. Yeah, yeah, two sets of pedal drives. Oh, I actually think there's so little wind, it doesn't really matter which side the sail's on at the moment. <laughs> now let's see if we can get everyone's name. So this is... You guys all Facebook friends, eh? Kathy. Then we've got Ed, Nick, and who are those two guys over there? Uh, and Zoltan. So, Galore and Zoltan. And behind me is Chris. Oh, look at that beautiful red ones go faster. <laughs> look at that, two paddlers. You guys are kicking ass. It looks like they got a, they've got a nice big riser on the back of the main sheet. By the way, this is uh, Andrew Dodsworth, but we'll call him Barney. He's an ex-military policeman, and uh, and this and his partner's Terry. Yeah, not a not an ex-military policeman. <laughs> yeah, I had a Hungarian friend 30 years ago, Bolaj Corvin. I know Bolaj. Solid guy, big solid guy. No, no. Thin, tall. Uh, <laughs> British ginger hair. Boom, boom, boom. I just need a whip. <laughs> Get the whip on him. Oh, you got one at home? Beautiful. <laughs> Heading north up the Port River, coming up to Torrens Island. There's a big power station located here. <laughs> Man overboard! <laughs> Squeaky. <laughs> Need to get some silicon spray on her. Not on me. I got some in the uh, in my trailer. Yeah, give her a spray. <laughs> That's going on YouTube, bro. <laughs> We've got a rapid fire here. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Can we confirm that he's a rapid fire, Terry? Yep. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> About two minutes apart. <laughs> so we're very little wind here. Just uh, cruising towards the uh, the shipyard where they build the submarines and destroyers and stuff. Looks like they got a destroyer sitting there at the dock. We'll go and have a look at that. About what tomorrow? <laughs> this is the one. Always knew women had a purpose. <laughs> The boy's sleeping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Terry's doing all the work. <laughs> I hope I don't think. All right, so Captain Tez is now sailing. We've got some wind coming in. Woo We're moving. I might ja jump back in the captain's seat just in case. Okay, wind has come in. We are sailing quite nicely. Alright, just sailing past this warship. There's plenty to see out here, so we're just going past the naval shipyards. There's, it looks like there's a destroyer under construction. Good opportunity to take some happy snaps with the Hobies. Barney loves military hardware, so he's quite enjoying sailing past this. These Hobie trampolines have proven a big hit. 
super comfortable, worked really well. I'm really enjoying being chauffeured around by Terry. Alright, that's a good video. Barney snoozing. And three three Hobies in the background. <laughs> and Terry doing all the work. <laughs> so Terry's taken to sailing like a duck to water. She loves being in control of the boat, guiding it around and uh, and she's kind of a natural at it. Look at these two children chatting away. <laughs> Terry's been telling me off for using incorrect nautical terminologies. <laughs> the Adventure Islands are kicking ass at the moment. They've gone into the shallow water. Seen some dolphins uh, break the surface a bit further ahead, but I haven't spotted them again. A beautiful tool ship and some industrial uh, looking buildings behind it. That is stunning. We have dolphins. Well spotted. Eyes wide, eyes wide. See if we can catch them. How good is that? A few dolphin encounters, got really lucky on this trip. We've sailed all the way around to the docks. Boats, boats pumping along. Barney's generating a lot of wind. And <laughs> yeah, he's good at chatting to her. <laughs> yeah, he's still going. I think he's about to go underwater, though. <laughs> that happens nearly buried. And uh, he's not happy now. Oh, poor Barney. <laughs> Because the opportunity. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to have a look at this ship and then I'm going to spin around and head downwind. Where's so. I left it Looks like there's another ship just over here which is getting loaded. It's interesting to see the cranes operating. That's about as close as I want to get to this big beast, so uh, we might turn. As we spin around, spot more dolphins. There's also a whole bunch of sailboats coming up. Looks like these guys have got a bit of a leak, they're bailing, bailing their little boat. Uh. Good bailing! <laughs> <laughs> so now we have uh, Barney as the helmsman, he's in charge. We're gonna die. Yeah, looks like there's a dinghy race on, so this guy almost tipped over. There's another dinghy racing away. Love those red sails. They're pumping along. <laughs> Look at these lazy, lazy bastards. There's a nice, comfortable seat in the middle. Hang on, hang on. Who's been pedaling all the fucking way up? Oh, all the way downwind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're going upwind. <laughs> and this fella here, look at this fella. He, can, he says the trampoline is so comfortable, he just does not want to get off it. So he won't jump in the seat to pedal because the trampoline is too comfortable. Oh, oh, there he goes. I think he slept most of the voyage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so I've been pedaling for about an hour here, but I think I'm actually going to get some help. Oh, that's better. Now we're moving. Hey! A man's hat flew off. It was sailing, bobbing up and down in the vast, vast ocean, whereas Skipper Alex his hat bobbing. All of a sudden, out of the dark, dark gloom and fog, came a red boat, rammed into us, rammed into the side, rammed into the hat. But because of Skipper Alex's fantastic nautical skills, we lived to tell this story. Did it collapse the pontoon, Tess? <laughs> Did it collapse the pontoon? Yes. Yes, it collapsed the pontoon. Were you able to push it out okay again? My ribs or the boat? The pontoon. Oh. What, did you die? But did you die? Yes, I did. I actually did die. I died. Twice. 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 Skipper Alex was able to resuscitate me because Skipper Alex is like multi-skilled. Mad skills, bro. Mad skills. Anyway, he got his hat back and he's a fucking idiot. Oh, as he watches this on YouTube, and he's a really good guy.
We got rammed. Retrieved Nick's hat. He came back. I filled the sail, and he didn't furl his. He came at us at full speed. Didn't turn. Slammed into our boat. Went straight over the top of it. Uh, knocked the GoPro off, and Terry got out of the way. And yeah, ended up on top of us. There we go. We definitely have a leak in this pontoon. Look at that. She's taking a nice piss on the beach. So if you like this kind of positive adventure content, don't be a slug. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment. These things keep me motivated to make these videos and check out a few of these other adventures.